a great movie. If you haven't seen it, then you should. Even if you're Mormon, I don't care what they said. The Passion of the Christ is a good movie. Now, I'm going to try a... It's a great movie, actually. I got an effect. It's a Dio... Is it made by... The digital delay, but it's totally crazy sounding, so... And this guitar, how do you like this? This is my... On the back we got... Oh, this is my patriotic guitar. We got the friggin' all sorts of flags. We got the World War II bomber stuff. I got a couple of these cool flags. And look right here. I hope you can see this. What do you think about that? Beep! Beep! Flag. America. Bring back the real America. Reagan. If we had Reagan as president and Charlton hesitant. Charlton Heston is vice president. This would be the best country. We could dig them up, put them in the White House, and they'd do a better job than that jackass that's in there right now. He's an idiot. This is like hiring somebody called Adolf Hitler Jones during World War II as president. Instead, we hire Obama. Uh, what's his name? I can't even stand him. Barack. Hussein Obama and anybody that tries to argue out of that you're full of crap he is a Muslim he went to that dirt scum church that hypocritical black so called you know I don't know what you guys want to call yourself you're black I'm white you're black I'm, I've got red man in me there's yellow people so if you don't like black you used to be black now you're still black to me you're not African American unless you ever lived in Africa that's like calling me an English American and Native American. Why? You're an American or you get the hell out. You speak English or you get the hell out. And this guitar is making me talk this way. Beep, 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 beep. Remember, America, no Hispanic, no Iranian, no Armenia, no nothing. It's American. It's one link. If you speak one language in one country, we can communicate better and things would be a lot better and people could think fucking straight. And this guitar shows you how strong this country used to be. Right now it's very weak because we've got a not just Obama, but the scum that he brought in with him, the, the living dirt that he brought in with him. So...
stay in tune. I guess it needs new strings because, well, let's just take a look at it. Shall we? We shall. It's a beautiful instrument. It is a, uh, was a IC, what is it, ICT 700 or IC 700? And this company put this jo uh, paint job on it. It's actually not a paint job, it's actually a a sticker. They sell these big stickers. Well, they decided to make a big sticker and put it on this guitar and put seven coats, you know, seven
seven, they layered the uh, seven coats, buffed it out, shiny as crap. It's beautiful. I put those knobs on there. I'm thinking about putting some more when we're paint dry. So it's, eh. You know, like red, white, or red, blue, and white, or something. And this is my little idea, because I, I miss having a friggin' toggle switch, so instead I'll just have a little light that lights up the. I just like this. So that's really. And on the back is all just different friggin' stickers. And I figured they put a big sticker on the front, and I will sticker the hell out of the thing, so. I mean, that ain't cool. And then there's a little flag. And then there's the friggin' eagle coming, ripping out of the car, coming at you to eat every single Muslim scumbag, or Egyptian, or any other son of a gun that doesn't like this country and all you democrat liberal scumbags that want to change this country and all of you that think that the one percent is the problem no idiot any of you could have been the one percent and if you think romney was born in to uh the money he's got you're full of crap his husband his husband <laughs> Mitt Romney's father was a millionaire, barely, he was a millionaire. Mitt is a billion billionaire, and he has never done anything wrong or illegal in anything he's done in his jobs, and I will swear to it, and any scumbag, I even got people, this liberal chick that's in the church, she thinks, no, oh, he's a liar, listen, he's not a liar. He's honest, and he can get this country out of debt. He can start, the one thing he's good at is getting, turning things around, getting rid of scum, getting rid of a lot of waste at the top, and there's a lot of waste at the top of this scumbag sucking government. There are so many people that, especially in, you go to, look at, Gover Governor Brown, that stoned, idiotic jerk that got elected again by all these stupid friggin hippies in California or ignorant immigrants that don't even speak the language he's his brain is so wiped out by drugs he closed down 71 state parks on Memorial Day that for one it sucks he's a jerk two it's illegal because the funds that they make go into a, another the the money that they make go into a fund that goes to other things and then they get the money back and keep the parks going. What they what they do is they're sucking out all that money that goes into the funds and they don't want to give it back to the park. So they close the park so they don't have to give the money back, but they're also losing the money that seventy one of these parks were making for them. So he's he's actually so stupid, he can't, can't figure that out. Is Feinstein still up there being a complete ignorant piece of crap? I don't know. We got to get rid of all of those, even the Republicans up there. Every single one of them in in the uh, Capitol in California need to be thrown in jail or thrown out into into the bay. And then everyone in Washington D.C., both sides out. You either go home and take their houses and have them start from the beginning, throw them in jail, or export them, or do something else. And, uh, hook them up to old Sparky and see how they uh, manage that. As you can tell, I'm just tired of this crap. And I think it, this crazy guitar brings it out in me, man, because it's just so patriotic and cool. And if you don't like it, that means you're not patriotic. And that means you don't like America. And the way, and when this country was formed, how it was formed was great. And it was more than just plain men. They had help. And if you don't believe that, you're an idiot. I, I love science. Uh, last night I actually saw Saturn. The closest I've ever seen it in a telescope the first time in my life. It is unbelievable to think that. I was seeing that Saturn, which takes, what, 76 minutes for that light to get here. 
Well, actually, Saturn could have blown up, and I wouldn't have known it was any six minutes. But I went into the. To, I know the people, getting to know the people that work at the observatory, and I saw a fireball. It wasn't a meteor. It was basically a fireball. It was a basically a piece of iron that skipped across the uh, the atmosphere and then kept going. This was two two or three weeks ago on a Saturday night. Unbelievable. So I went ahead to go up there and ask him about that. But I just love that stuff. Anyway, so if you think, oh, well, you're just this Bible dude, you know, no, no, I do. I know about science. All about science. In fact, I've taken, I don't know how many courses in freaking college. It might be community, it might be valley, who cares, but I, I did it. And uh, my uncle is a philosopher, genius. He's taught at UCLA, USC. He gives lectures at Valley College. He gives lectures at Nor uh, Northridge, CSUN, everywhere. You name it. He's very, 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 very intelligent. What happens? My son, I have a son. He's 27. That's what I did when I graduated. I picked out a very cute little girl and got her pregnant. I ended up marrying her, though, but we're not married, of course. I divorced, and then... Uh, in 2003, I married the biggest mistake I ever made in my life. She's an absolute lying piece of trash that ruined my life and walked out on me after I got in a, a uh, serious head-on collision. And, uh, let me see what else. Yeah, because she didn't want to be married to somebody who was disabled. You know, and I can walk now, I can do things, I can drive, I can mowing the lawn, I can do all the crap anybody else can do, but at that time she was a little worried. She just wanted someone to take care of her. She wanted to make some what a selfish piece of crap. When she would came when she was diagnosed with lupus and couldn't work and whine about it every friggin' day. My eye hurts, my ear hurts, my butt hurts. That's why she didn't come down to see me, she said in the hospital when I was in the coma. Because she had asteroids. I call them asteroids, you call them hemorrhoids, I call them asteroids, because where are they? right. They're not in your hammer, they're in your ass. So, she can't come down and see me, so she finally does it when I come out of the coma. Been in the coma for two months. They, I, I died several times. They thought I wasn't going to make it. They thought I was going to be brain damaged when I came out. I come out. I can't talk. So she comes down and sees me for 45 minutes and then leaves. And goes and stays with her friggin' daughter the rest of the time and flies home the next day. That's it. That's all I saw of her. Ever. She called a couple times to complain about our asteroids and how God must really be. Why is she? Why is God doing? Why is God doing this? God did not give you asteroids, you idiot. You gave it from grunting too much and you're taking a crap. So listen, you dumbass. It was all your fault. Boy, I'm getting. Oof. This is why you go to a counselor and anger management. Believe me, it's true. It's fact, and I got it. And I'm working on it because I've never been so pissed off ever since I lost everything. I lost my job, lost my house, lost my stupid wife, I lost my car, I sold that, my beautiful Thunderbird that I had. All I got is my AMX, 69 AMX and a truck, and I bought a car, a used car off this guy. I've already went through one Toyota since the accident, and then just another out of the Mercury Sable. It's very nice. Don't complain. But, gosh dang it, I mean, well, it's just some crap. But, also, good stuff coming out, too. I'm sorry, God. I just gotta get this out. And it's out, buddy. If you wanna hear more of this kind of crap, tune into my radio show, the Michael D. Rock Legend Show, every Wednesday night at 9 o'clock p.m. Pacific Time. Go to blogradio.com. It'll come up on my Facebook, Michael Douglas Hughes. Go sign up. Right now, I think I got 5,500 people. I don't know how I got 500 over 5,000. You're supposed to cut out 5,000, but whatever. So, try to get on there. And if you want to, you know, say, hey, I heard you on uh, YouTube, blah, blah, blah. I'll kick somebody off that I don't know and put you on. How's that? Have a good day. Oh, yeah. That's really the whole reason. Not naked men, but... And that is a good movie about him. Yes, I am. Exactly. Ashamed of it. You want to talk about it? Fine.
I'm ready to rumble. I'm a great apologetic. Um, I'm a Mormon apologist. But whatever. I can go for hours. I've been doing it every Friday for about two or three hours with this guy on the phone. But he's he's getting to really, you know, oh wow, there's something about what you're saying is is true. It's, of course it's true. I was born and raised in the church. Joseph Smith is my is a relative of mine actually. He's the guy that started the Mormon church. His tenth cousin. I left the church for seventeen years. When I came back and went to other churches, I went to every other church. I couldn't find nothing. And believe me, there's some of them out there that are whack, whack, whack. But, you know, whatever. As long as they're not hurting themselves or anybody else. Well they are hurting themselves in the eternal sense, but you know, baptism and you know, job on other people. Well, they'll all find that out. But at least they're trying, and they and they they want to believe in Christ. So you should too. This is Sunday too, and Happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there, and all you mothers. You know who you are too. Not my mom. She's a, she's actually a mom. I'm talking about mothers. Uh, and I need a guitarist. Remember, Fatal Attraction is reforming. I'm going to be the bass player. I can't play guitar. You just saw that. Trey Valentine, the original singer, he is going to sing. So all we need is a guitarist and a drummer. Come and give me yourself. I And I would rather you have long black hair to begin with. So all you have to do is put on makeup. I don't know if I'm going to do this Nosferatu look. Or I'm going to put on a black wig. I don't know. So, there you go. That's all I have to say today. Let's look at the flashing star or flag a couple more times. And there's that beautiful guitar. And that's the end, buddy. See ya.